Good morning, Minecrafters, and welcome back to another episode of my hardcore Minecraft Let's Play series, where I place blocks until the blocks make sense. I do have to let you guys know, before we get into this video, I do have to let you guys know that the reason it took me so long to get this video out is because both my wife and I got COVID during the production of it, and we're down for what felt like ever. I felt like I was dying and I hated it. But I feel better now. I'm back to work. The wife feels good. She's back to work. And we're both back to work feeling good. So without further ado, let's get into this video. But one more thing. If you guys like the video, like the video, subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the, in the comments. And let's get into it. <sighs> Anyways, we're going to fly up here. And look at how my house just kind of peeks through the clouds right here. I am in love with that. That particular feature is amazing. It looks amazing. It looks amazing from here i absolutely love it we can fly in right here and we'll take a little bitty itty bitty tour of the house and then i'll tell you guys afterwards what we have going on this episode anyways we got a little little foyer foyer area right here this, i don't i don't know what was gonna go here um yeah it's just a little foyer i got some lava down there under these copper grates that were added in the 121 update absolutely love those and they tink oh, no, take, take. anyways moving in from the foyer we have the crafting area got a nice big rug got a table got my smithing and a crafting table stone cutter we got some wall decor uh threw some shields up on the wall you know because crafting uh, we got our, uh, we got our furnaces over here. Uh, got some tool racks, cause, you know, crafting. And some greenery. I'm gonna add some more in here, probably some paintings. Um, one like right here to cover up these spots. I think these spots look pretty cool from the outside, but not so much from the inside. But we'll find out. Let's keep going. We're gonna go upstairs to the living area. This is where the magic happens. Not really. Not really. Magic happens upstairs. But this is my bedroom. I don't know what this is going to be, but we got some hidden lighting right there. Anyways. Now, the main part, the main part of the house where I'm going to spend most of my time. Um, I absolutely love what I did with this room. It's freaking, it looks amazing. You guys can kind of see all the greenery kind of poking through the roof i used trap doors for the ceiling and i don't think that was a bad idea i actually think that was a really good idea um yeah let's go up this is where the magic really happens got my enchanting table right here obviously this is this corner of the house is where the magic happens and then we got like enchanted book storage um i always lose all my enchanted books and just spread them everywhere throughout all of my chests and it's super annoying looking for them um and then we got our normal storage this is going to be everything that i want to keep near and dear to my home all my valuables um like everyday items rockets you know etc and then over here i haven't built it yet but this is going to be where the dragon egg and the dragon head reside in this world i'm going to big i'm going to build a big beautiful shrine right here to fill this space up and then the house will be complete and then we can come out here on the balcony and we got a beautiful view of the sunset dipping right over the edge of these mountains um, right here, uh, you can see I laid out a shape. This is going to be my enchantment tower. It is going to be a full tower. I've decided I'm going to do a nice little gradient going all the way up. And then at the top is going to be a very special floor with my enchantment setup. A full enchantment setup and probably like a hidden spiral staircase that pokes out of the wall. I think it's going to be really cool. Uh, but today, in today's episode, we're going to be focusing on that little area right there of the mountain. I've already cleared out the trees and lit up the area around it so nothing spawns there. Let's check out the area that I have. 
I do, I did take some wool and made a little outline. It's a very loose outline. I don't know if I'm going to follow it perfectly, but the smelter itself is going to be housed in here. Um, with the input chest right here and the output chest right here. I think that'll be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Input. Output in oh actually let's do input output yeah output right here that makes sense anyways let's get started I do not have a design for this already made so I am just gonna start placing blocks until they make sense your input the item you want to be smelted goes in this chest right here the fuel goes in this chest right here once the chests are empty you hit the buttons the mine carts go up and around distributing everything ev evenly and then come back and pause in their stations and then once they're done once the item is done smelting it's going to travel down this hopper line right here into this chest where a mine a hopper mine cart will be constantly going back and forth um on this line right here picking up the items in this chest and then once they come over here and deposit the items into this hopper right here, the stalling system turns this power rail off. It reads, it senses that there's items in the hopper, powers the comparator, short circuits the redstone torch, turns off the redstone repeater, turning off the powered rail right here, causing the minecart hopper to actually pause in place and then continue on um in its path which i can demonstrate right now let's just throw the nether rack in there uh we got a solid block that's important this needs to be a solid block in order for the minecart to um essentially bounce back it's gonna pause so it's not really bouncing but if this isn't a solid block it won't continue it will just stay there paused even though the rail is powered so we got a bunch of stuff in this chest right here put the minecart hopper there it, it picks it up it pauses deposits it and then goes along its way and then when it's empty there's nothing it's just gonna constantly go back and forth just like that all right everything seems to be in order the super smelter is smelting superly and we can start designing this building all right so obviously this is going to be made out of predominantly blackstone and probably some oak logs um but that's about as far as i've gotten so i'm gonna take a break i'm gonna take a little bit of a break and then i will be right back with a design for this building don't go anywheres We need a door and my plant. We need my plant. Ah, we have a door. That's crazy. This is the blacksmith shop completed. We got a full menu. We got three different tiers, diamond, iron, and gold. Okay, this shop will, the shop will progress as we progress. So once I start making netherite armor, which will be here in a few episodes, couple episodes maybe, um we're gonna change the menu a little bit once i get access to netherite 
we're going to add netherite to the menu, which means we're going to have to take away some something because we only have room for three tiers. Anyways, once I get access to netherite, we'll add netherite to the menu and we'll take away the gold. You know, this isn't too bad. I like it. Nice and cozy. Ah, we have a door. That's crazy. As long as it's with you.